Hi, my name is Tim Ruggles, and I'm a librarian at the Kellogg Health Sciences Library. This is an introduction on how to search PubMed. PubMed searches article citations from over 5,000 biomedical journals. Use the Dalhousie Customized version of PubMed accessible from the Kellogg Library webpage to get links to full text articles. There are two basic ways to search PubMed using words or phrases in the text word search box at the top of the screen or using the medical subject heading database called MeSH. We'll try the main text word search box first by entering renal disease and vitamin D. The results screen shows that we've received approximately 6,000 article citations. When doing text word searching, it's always a good idea to check the search details box to see how PubMed has interpreted your search. Let's click the See More link. Here we can see it has correctly mapped our search to the appropriate MeSH headings, in this case kidney disease and vitamin D. This mapping enhances your search to ensure articles will not be missed. PubMed has also searched our text words in all fields of the citation, article title, abstract, journal source, and so on. The articles may or may not be about renal disease or vitamin D. The author may have used these terms in the title or abstract in some other context. Text word searches are useful to help broaden searches and to search for articles that have not yet been indexed with MeSH headings. However, they do increase the number of irrelevant citations. Let's try the same search using the MeSH database. You can find the link to the MeSH database from PubMed's main page or by using the drop-down menu on the top of the screen. The chief advantage of using MeSH terms is that it yields a more relevant and focused search since these are the terms used by indexers to describe what each article is about. When you use the MeSH database, each concept must be put in separately. To start, we'll just use the concept for renal disease. This search provides a list of several possible terms, but the term we want is the first one. Let's click on kidney disease to get more information. This screen gives you details on this heading, scope note, possible subheadings that can be used to narrow the focus of your search, and the medical subject tree which shows the term in relation to other concepts. Narrower concepts indented under our heading will be included in the search unless you turn off the explode feature. In this case, let's select the subheading drug therapy and choose the major topic option to retrieve those articles whose main focus is the drug therapy of kidney disease. Now that we've made our selections, we'll add this to the search box by using the Send To drop-down menu. Next, we'll search for our second concept, vitamin D. Click in the box opposite the term and then send the term to the search box with AND so that both concepts will be present in every article retrieved. Now we're ready to run our search by clicking the Search PubMed button. This time we get far fewer but more relevant results. Every article retrieved has something to do with kidney disease and vitamin D. There are different ways to reduce the number of citations even further. You could look at the review papers. PubMed pulls these out automatically for you. See the right side of the screen. Let's go back to our main search results. This time we'll use the limits option. Listed on this screen are a variety of ways to limit your search results. Let's limit our search here to randomized controlled trials and English language articles only. Now our results have been dramatically reduced. We'll click on the first entry to get more information about this particular article. This screen gives us the option of reading the abstract or getting the full text of the paper by clicking on the Get It Adele button. View our Libcast on Get It Adele for more information on how to use this feature. Check all of the MeSH terms that were used to index this paper. This will help you refine your search or find other relevant search terms. Both text word searching and searching with MeSH terms have their advantages and disadvantages. Sometimes you may need to use both. For more information or to get help with your searches, contact a medical librarian at the Kellogg Health Sciences Library.